Oh, okay. So on uh, Monday, 7 p.m. Right. So on Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to have a R node uh, work study. And uh, I'll advertise the, uh, the Zoom link on the, the block spaces. Well, it's going to be on uh, advertised on meetups, on block spaces website, uh, and on the uh, block spaces uh, dis Discord channel for block spaces. And I'll post it in, in CoLab as well. And uh, <clears throat> essentially, we're going <clears> to <throat> work on setting up. We're going to set up a. Uh, you, we're going to use the Block Spaces IBM Cloud service, which is a, a free service that Block Spaces had as a partner with IBM. That's going to be our resource uh, for setting. And each person can have their own cloud account. So. Um, It'll be, you know, IBM Bluemix. <clears throat> each person will have their own. So we'll work on each person setting up their, their own R node server. So they'll be able to um, SSH into their uh, IBM cloud account. And uh, so the works, R node work study on Monday will be in preparation for people on Thursday. So people will be able to contribute. Uh, participate in the R node testing on 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 Thursday. And I'll be uh, working perhaps with some others on the collab testing R node virtual machine on DigitalOcean at the same. Time. Okay. Uh, well, hey, you know what? And why don't we do that? So, <clears throat> Block Spaces members can um, uh, as a block space member you have access to the the resources so you, you they can get their their account set up and then for non block space members maybe uh, use the DigitalOcean. right okay yeah i think yeah. that's no i was going to set up the uh, blue button yeah, we talked about blue button before, and um, I can't remember where we left off with that. Did you uh, join the um, open learning commons? Uh, I haven't done anything since we talked about it two or three months ago, and I can't remember where, where we left off at. Well, if you remember, Maybe it will allow you in. Um, here is the. Uh, you want to share your screen? Uh, sure, I can do that. I'm not sure there's much to see right now. Oh, okay. But uh, somewhere in the pinned items here in the general channel of the lab. Uh, we have the uh, 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 open learning cooperation. Okay. Like collective uh, social ledger. Okay, this is the address here. Uh, well, when people want to connect, uh, put it in the chat for you. And what does what is blue button? What is that going to provide us? Well, that's what that's what we'll look at right now. Okay. Okay. Here's the open the open one. Oh, why does it want me to sign in? Um, I do have the client running on here. Let me uh, 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 let me uh, go to the portal. Do life uh, co-op. Okay, and um, I can. Uh, uh, this is uh, how we collect the skill sets of members. 
Okay. This is why I want to get this working for our chains. <laughs> right. And the portal is a, it, it, it's sort of a frame that goes around all the tools that the community uses. And it's actually okay. configured through Mattermost right now, but separated from that Mattermost more. I mean, there's no reason that a choice here couldn't go into um, uh, and wants me to log in. Okay. There's no reason this couldn't go into Discord. We can configure it, you know, and go into Discord. Okay. Uh, for the portal. And uh, what happened? What happened to my, why did this, this happened to me before. Okay, so we still have this frame here, which is the portal. And this will this is be part of our self-sovereign architecture. It's all browser-based code. Okay. Okay, and it does have a uh, Firebase database behind it. But it's, there's no server components besides the database. It accesses APIs of the tools that you're using. Okay. From the browser. All right. And, you know, it's a sort of a model of the self-sovereign stack that we want to create. Okay. You can make your own portal to do, collect any kind of services you want to collect, whatever. Sure. Okay. Okay. And we have domains here, which uh, right now are the uh, uh, digital life uh, partners. Uh, the open learning co commons operations projects or all. Okay, so uh, if uh, if I look at the open learning commons, hello, <laughs> what is going on here? So one of the things is is a work in progress. Yeah. Pretty often. And he has problems handling this path. Okay, I put me back into digital life. I can go to the open learning commons. And unfortunately, I, uh, there aren't any of the services we use configured yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we have these uh, things here. Uh, we can uh, show the whole on the map. Okay, and see the different uh, uh, channels and the members in uh, the, uh, the visual learning. Okay, the color. Okay, they, they start out dark blue. And the longer they have not had activity, the lighter they get. And so that the ones that haven't had activity in a long time are white. Okay. And the size of the circle gives you the amount of activity. So at okay. a glance here, you can see pretty much what's happening and what's dead. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. And if you click on here, you can uh, go into the, uh, the channel. Uh, 
Uh, we can look at the, uh, the network graph and see how people are connected, see what their skills are. You see the thick lines are strong connections between people. Okay. Um, you'll see people that aren't connected to anybody. <laughs> right. I look at the islands out here. Um, <clears throat> uh, show channels. Oh, this is the card interface which is a paradigm that we're using. So here you can see the channels and who's involved. And uh, uh, you can uh, uh, open the channel if you're a member or join if you're not. Um, and of course, leave the channel, whatever. Uh, And my mouse is really fuzzy here. Show calendar. I don't think we have a calendar. No. Open learning is, you know, just formal. Right. Uh, show folders. I don't know if we have any folders either. Normally, this would show whatever folder system you use, which like for Dig Life is Google Documents. Uh, show notes. And there's no notes either. Um, if we look at the operations domain. Oh, that's the open comments, operations domain. You can say we have lots of uh, documents, uh, lots of notes. And these are pretty cool. Uh, I don't understand. We do have notes in open learning. Probably they're not keyed properly, so they don't come here. Um, let's see. Showing out. Um, how about um, partner on board? What do I want to do? I think it's my last update. You see partner delegate protocol part one. You see part two and part three. You find part one. Yeah, I don't see part one. You do? No, no. What the, what the hell? Um, I'm 
Oh boy. So this is the part you're... So this is, you know, if um, block spaces wanted to join um, cooperation as a service from Digital Life Collective, uh, then they would essentially take care of uh, provide the service, but we share expenses. Okay. So currently, we figure it's about $10 a year per person to run the infrastructure. Which is a lot cheaper than alternatives like Slack and everything where they charge you per month per user. But um, uh, this is like this, and uh, uh, this is no uh, Cody MD. Uh, so I can uh, uh, I can go to edit mode uh, or uh, side by side, and these are markdown documents. You put the mark down over here and see the final over here. Okay. And markdown is sort of becoming a standard for just about everything. So we can copy and paste this right into other places like GitHub or uh, you know, our publishing environments that we're using and stuff. All right. Um, And, uh, um, and that's what we got. Um, There it shows what things they belong to. Now, if I click on something that I don't belong to, uh, well, it gives me the description and keywords, and I can see that there's no no description <laughs> for this channel. Okay. And. and uh, uh, I don't see any team members. It could be broken. And then we can request access, which basically puts, just puts an item in the channel that says, so-and-so wants access to this channel. All right. The, the description would say who should join, basically. Um, no, so this organizes the activities, and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, private and public channels. The public channels you can just join directly. And I'm gonna put probably don't see. I think uh, I think emerging strategy is public. Not, oh well, I'm going to show you everything. Uh, I did want to show that there's other stuff that gets put in here. Like this is the website put in place, right? The operations calendar. Um, and we have Taiga desk support embedded, and uh, I don't know, let's, let's 
see if you have them. We can make the show you here. Now all of these symbols back here. What a decision making. Oh, that goes to the channel. But the point is that these can go to any tools you want. And it's like your toolbox that can vary from community to community. The tools that that community uses. Oh, I see. Okay. So if, if I wanted to have a page of resources, um, where would be a, a good place, you know, for links to re, uh, resources? Um, yeah, I mean, you could put even... Uh, link to anything. I mean, you might want to, you might want to collect them in a, uh, in a Google, oh, well, I was going to put them in a Google Docs um, uh, document. And, and then go about embedding a Google Doc document. I mean, certainly you can do it. No reason you can't do that. So if I have links, that I want people to go to. So, so I have, you know, a collection of uh, R node setup links. I go to various JIRA pages. Um, and, you know, I want to have that as a placeholder for people to go to this page so they know they, they can go here and have all the links that they need to go to. Yeah. So I think, I think right now, um, right now, All of these services have some mattermost channel where the people are that manage the service. So you would create a mattermost channel for managing links, let's say. <laughs> and you put yourself in it and the curators of your link list. So, and then you would configure the, you would configure the, this to not go to the channel, but to go to the actual links, wherever, however they are kept. Now, um, I sort of like this, uh, Dinglife.com. Oops. Um. What in the world was that? Two. Yeah, it was two. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I have to remember to sign in. <laughs> uh, that's your URL. Why does it want? password here. Sign in to givelife.com. Huh? 
but you need a password here. So if I go to admin, of course that would want a password. That looks like it's not working. All right. Like, well, at least it's URLs. And uh, it's your own URL shortener. Mm -hmm. Okay, and basically, you can keep all these all the links in here, and it fills in this the heading for you, and gives you a short URL to access it, which you can have it make make up a short one. Or you can specify it. What would be an example of a short URL? Um, the, uh, Is that like the bit.ly? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I guess this is not hot. Um, and then, you, of course, you, you get the system so who used it or from where. <laughs> um, and, the, of course, the statistics on the clicks. Um, um, So um, you could consider a tool like this. All right. Um, and then, you know, it's easy to get back there. So for example, uh, tbcharts.com's slash uh, two slash plugin API or that's not very short but um, you know you have to have some URL that <laughs> uh, a base URL that's short as possible that goes here. Hmm. Okay. Or, you know, maybe TV charts dot link or something. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll think, you know, as far as um, agenda items, uh, as you know, the th this will be our first session on Monday with a group, you know, hope we'll see how many people uh, attend and see what kind of progress we make. Uh, but I, the, my my goal for for Monday is for Chris Williams to help familiarize the group with the um, uh, those in in block spaces with the the IBM IBM uh, service cloud service, and then if we have others join like you know Gary and Ned uh, or others outside of block spaces, then you know we can. Uh, talk about resources through uh, DigitalOcean. Um, so, and then, you know, have a, have a list of, um, and then go into our node setup. Or actually, so it'd be, you know, the cloud, cloud resources set up and then our node set up. And then, you know, if, 
depending on how much we we work through that's that's getting getting everyone set up on a uh, on a cloud service and then getting everyone set up with their own R node. Now, how many weeks that's going to take, um, we'll, we'll see. But that's that's the um, uh, the the initial goals. And you know, once people feel comfortable that they've got an environment set up, then they can start to participate in the Thursday R node testing. Awesome. Yeah. So um, if we uh, open the announcement channels here in the open learning, um, I see Stacy joined. Okay. Oh, um, you didn't quit jo join yet. <laughs> Could you join, please? So that. I need to go to uh, diglife. Dot co op? No, the, uh, the link is in the chat. Oh, okay. You want to sign up for the open learning metamorph? Okay, and then uh, while we're in Zoom here, we can try Blue Button. Which is what the collab folks will be doing cooperatively working on the digital o o ocean server together while you guys are working on IBM. <laughs> All right. And by by having by having by using the big blue button, we won't be interfering with your work. All right. I'm gonna try to I'm trying to find my Mattermost uh, username, so bear with me. Uh, the uh, actually, it's best if you use your your GitHub ID. Oh, really? But. Uh, Username. Let me see if I've created anything already. Yeah, every Mattermost server. Oh, you might have one, one in the Colab, right? Uh, no. Colab Mattermost, you're probably in. It's a different Mattermost, it's a different account. Okay, so it's in the R chain matter most. This is the digital life matter most. Uh, 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 okay, so I've got a link to TB shards and then Slack. So, but I'm not, oh, it would be in another account. Let me, I, I have to get my phone. So, uh, so should I start fresh and create a, a brand new, so th this will be a brand new Mattermost account. Is that, uh, is brand that new. correct? Okay. Okay. And then um, my username should be my GitHub name. Um, well, I, it's not clear, um, that, you know, I mean, it's, it's convenient if you're working together with people in GitHub. <laughs> okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do it that way. Steve Henley, join the team. Yay. Okay. So I'm going to start a big blue, a big blue button meeting with you. All right. I could have started one for a whole cha the whole channel. Uh, but uh, 
this is just one between you and me. And uh, I click join meeting. And you should see a notification. Um, so if we join with the mic microphone, then it wants to do this audio test, which is rather annoying. How would you like to join? M microphone. Okay, microphone. Checking. Okay, this is a private echo test. Speak a few words. Did you hear audio? Yes. Welcome to Big Blue Button. Okay, you probably want to. Oh, you. Yeah, I'm getting echo, so I'm going to turn off the Zoom microphone. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. No, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go with I'm going to go with the um, default quality of me medium for now. Right, I see the zoom. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, I got a iMac. No, actually, it's not iMac. It's, it is a Mac, though. 